Okay, so now that we've got the drawing all set up, it's time to actually start drawing the GeoQuick. So now I'm going to start on step one, where it's telling me that I'm going to draw two concentric circles. One's a two inch diameter and one is a one inch diameter. I'll show you different ways that you can draw circles and uh, you can choose for yourself how you want to do it. So I've got the circle command up here. I'm on the home tab of um, the home ribbon here and you've got several different options with the circle command. You can choose if it's going to prompt you for a center and then a radius or a center and then a diameter. Well this book is telling us that it's going to be a diameter so I would like to choose the center diameter command. You can also use the circle command on the draw toolbar. If you use this one it's going to default to radius so don't forget to type D enter for diameter once you've selected your center. You can also, let's see where else we can go, we can go to the draw pull down circle and again you get to choose if it's going to prompt you for a radius or a diameter. You can type in the word circle or you could just type in the letter C enter. I like the ribbon so I'm going to go over here I'm going to choose the circle diameter option and it's telling me the first one should be a two inch diameter circle at an absolute coordinate of four comma five so right now AutoCAD's asking me for the center point so that would be the four comma five four comma five enter and you can see now it's definitely going to start with the center point at four comma five it just wants to know what my diameter is so here it's telling me it's a two inch diameter I'll just type in two enter and I've got a two inch diameter where the center point is at four comma five. Next it tells me to draw another circle with a one inch diameter using that same center point. So I'll come back to the circle command. This time I could either type in four comma five to have the same center point or I'm going to go ahead and use my center O snap. I'll just snap right to the center of that existing circle. This one is going to have a one inch diameter. Now I have two concentric circles. It wants me to draw a second set of concentric circles at absolute coordinate 7 comma 6. Be careful though when you're reading this book the first set of circles gave you a diameter this set of circles are giving you a radius so it's kind of tricky but easy enough to do so instead of doing center diameter the next one I'll do is center radius. It's asking me for the center point the book's telling me that is 7 comma 6 and now it's asking me for the radius so the radius it tells me is 0.5 enter. I'll do another circle. Again I'll just snap to the center of that one since they're concentric and this radius is 0.25. Alright so now I've got two different circles, two different sets of circles I should say, and I need to move on to step two. So in step two it wants me to, it says to use the draw pull down menu so that I can use the circle command with the tangent tangent radius option. So I could do that. Here's draw circle tangent tangent radius so instead of asking me for the center and then a radius it's going to ask me for a tangent a tangent and then a radius. I could do it from the draw menu but now that we have ribbons you can choose it from the ribbon option. If you were to use the regular circle command on the toolbar you would start the circle and then you would have to type in TTR. So I prefer the ribbon so I'm going to go with this one and if you flip the page in the book it actually shows you a picture of generally where you want to click to get that first tangent, generally where you want to click for that second tangent, and then it tells me the radius of this circle is going to be 3. So I'll just type in 3 enter and I've got it. It looks just like the picture there. I'm going to do another tangent tangent radius. This time I'll just go with what it shows in the book about here and about here, radius of 3. If your circles don't come out looking this way, if they kind of go up towards the top, you know that you were just a little bit off when you were clicking on your tangent. So you can undo and then redo that circle and just ballpark it in the general area where the book shows. I've got one more circle to do. Again, tangent tangent radius. This one's going to be a little bit smaller though, but it shows me to do it right around here, right around here, with a radius it says of 0.5. Okay, so I've got everything drawn that I need to. The last step of this is to go in and use the trim command. When I start the trim command, personally, I think uh, my favorite way to do it is just to press enter right here. When you first start that command, instead of selecting everything that's going to be a cutting edge, I just press enter and everything is a cutting edge. So now I just have to click on the parts that I want to have disappear. So I'll click here 
And here, you just kind of follow the book. It shows you what all you should click out. Erase this guy right here. It gets a little tricky in this area. I'm going to zoom in and just show you. You don't want to click right here for your first trim because you're going to end up with a little piece of a line up there that you'll have to erase. So it's better to trim here and then trim here. And that's it. That's the GeoQuick and pretty simple.